Good evening, podcast world. It is yours truly. This is November 21st, 2008. The SmackDown tonight was the tag team show. What'd you think? It was another show in London, that's why. It was Manchester. Come on, man. You don't oh, hear me getting your places wrong. Whatever the fuck it is, it's Europe. Um, yeah. I've been to Manchester before. It's a dump. It's a dump. It's a dump. Liverpool's back, worse. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna back it dumb. then? I don't care. Come on, fuck it. They're 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 both very dumpy. But yeah, it was just another European show, which we already got the uh, we already got one of those one of those uh, leaks of those thing are the shows already. Like the, it's like we already get leaks because it's taped, but it's even worse because it's SmackDown taped. And now it's in London, so it was just like all right. Manchester, come on, man. I don't care. Manchester. It was in the UK. You, you can I better. say? Can I say UK? Can I say UK? Because I don't give a fuck. Uh, Manchester. No, that's also ignorant. I shout out your shit. I don't care. All right. So Manchester. All right. Just another show. I most most likely it doesn't get as, as much as a rating as the usual SmackDowns get because it's in London. Of course it does, man. The ratings go up even more because they're so hyped to see a different country. Come on, man. That never happens. That's never happened before. Not once. In America, has that ever happened? A higher rating because they're in a different country. They barely. Don't write it is. Americans don't care. <laughs> pull, up, pull it up right now, then. Americans don't. Uh, Americans, type it up. Americans don't care. I'm not pulling it up right now. I'm doing the show. Lazy. I don't need. I don't need the whole. I don't need all the. Twelve years of this. I don't need. Continues. I don't need the fucking audience to hear my you know clicking of the keyboard. They don't need to hear that shit. No, it's it's cool, man. So Vicky Guerrero last week. Made it very clear that Jeff Hardy isn't extreme anymore. Which, the thing I thought of immediately was the drug taken, the alcoholism, the uh, isn't that, doesn't that make fucking him, himself up. Doesn't that make him more extreme? Yeah, that's what he's missing. <laughs> he's missing all the fuck-ups. Yeah, you're missing the drugs. You're missing, the, you, you're missing your high that you used to get every time. Uh, you're missing your DWIs and your DUIs. Um, you're missing all of that shit, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I was really annoyed tonight with the pumped in crowd reactions. I know we get them every week on shit down, but like, come on, man. But it's extra even pumped in. The UK. In. <laughs> yeah, even in the fucking they, UK. They, they don't they care. Pumped it in. They pumped it in for the fireworks, man. Yes. Come on, man. Yes, they did. I like how like I saw one firework exploding and I heard nothing. It was like, oh, <laughs> okay. Once again. They're dead people. Crowd reactions, man. Yeah, I don't understand how... Um, Matt Hardy and and Matt Hardy and Mark Henry basically got the same crowd reaction because it's piped in. So, no, I'm... yeah, man. You like an R Truth still? That uh, What's up? Things getting over. Yeah, man. I always liked R Truth. I liked him when he was. I liked him when he was here beforehand. And he got fucked over, and I liked him when he was in you know TNA. And then at least he's back. But uh, I, I rushed to it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Before we get into the first match, let's cover all the uh, Survivor Series matches. So Team Batista. Versus Team Roddy Orton. Who do you think's winning? I'm going to say Team Batista. What's the other one? Because I know there's two of these matches. So one face, one heel, right? HBK and JBL is the other one. So I think I'm going to go with Randy. Because I don't think Shawn Michaels is going to lose to a team with JBL. I don't, I don't, see, I don't see that happening. I feel like they're going to clean JBL's team out. Who's on JBL's team? I forgot about that shit. Do you remember? Uh, Miz and Morrison, Kane, MVP. <laughs> yeah, they're getting cleaned the fuck out. They're getting cleaned out. I, I rather, yeah, I think it's going to be Randy winning that one and then Sean winning the other one. Has to be By the looks of it, right? Team Morton could have up to like three valets. Did you, did you know that? Tony Atlas. Uh, yeah. Layla. And Manu. Manu. Oh, fucking Manu. Is he they're gonna fucking bring him out for Survivor Series? Right now he's not scheduled for the match. It's Mark Henry, Cody Rhodes, yeah, Shelton Benjamin, yeah, William Regal, and Randy. They, they wanted to have at least one of Randy's guys in there. So they brought they put in Cody. I would say Randy Orton makes it to the end and maybe a Kofi or Batista or Matt Hardy's left to take him out. Uh I see uh no Matt Hardy's not in that one, I think. Is he? I think I, I see. Well, out of both teams, oh, who well, do you think is going to be first eliminated? I'm going to say first, uh, William Regal. Regal, yeah. I'd say either Regal or uh, Kofi to get like one to get like the baby faces down and you know 
then yeah, again, come back up and shit. Mark Henry could always be speared off the rip. Yeah. Well, then he, again, that puts down ECW once again, but they, they, they don't, don't care. Matt Hardy's the champion. ECW? I mean, before Matt Hardy was champion, they still didn't care. So, Well, by your logic of not giving a fuck, did you give a fuck about Shelton Benjamin and Mark Henry versus R-Truth and Matt Hardy? Cause, uh, no, I like R-Truth, but no, don't care. Well, the winner tonight was... No? No. All right. Our truth and Matt Hardy, they won. Our truth. There was a there was a massive yeah. crowd reaction. The place went wild. Imagine Hulk Hogan versus The Rock reactions. Place yeah. completely went mental the, for that. The place, the 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 crowd, the crowd went crazy. But you know, it was like there was like a lot of people sitting down on the front row. But you know what? They went great. They went loud. They were really loud sitting down and and not clapping. They were extremely loud. It's amazing, man, how you can clap without even using your hands at this point. That's Just a, it's that's a skill. That's a fucking skill. Do you know what else is a skill that, that uh, Cena can magically come back and get automatically put in a title contention against uh, who is it again? Oh, Jericho. Jericho. That's a godly skill because it's like what we we've, we've seen these promo packages with Cena. He's lifting weights. He's talking about his childhood. He always wanted to do this. And we've like, always seen these clips. We at saw least once I'm, a year. I'm gonna say, didn't we see this when he uh, when he got injured the first time last year with his uh, with the shoulder injury? He was like, "Oh my god, he's gonna come back strong." Man, we've been ever. getting these clips since he debuted of him holding the belt when he's like eight years old. Like they run yeah. this shit on repeat, and then it's like. Instantly, he gets a fucking world title shot against Jericho. Well, we all know Jericho's losing, so... Yeah, sadly. Cause it, it's Say just, goodbye to that one. It's like, it's not even the fact that we can, like, maybe try to continue this. It's just, it's... As people have been saying lately, it's... I mean, well, shit, I mean, it's becoming fucking... He's becoming Superman. He's just beating everybody. It's fucking ridiculous. But, you know... When did he get hurt again, though? I forgot when he got hurt again. Like, he must have gotten hurt around... Wasn't it SummerSlam? Oh, with his match against Batista, that's right. So he had a... Think about it, twice in a year, he comes back and gets He's ridiculous too big. shit. He's too big. Wins the Rumble, then gets the world title. I think that's what his fucking problem is. He's too big. He's gotten, like, fucking... He's gotten all stocky and shit, like he's a fucking bodybuilder, where he breaks his goddamn neck, and he fucked up his shoulder on a simple, like, hip toss last year. So he's gotten really big. He has to fucking... I'm not telling him to get small and shit, but, you know, you gotta lean up a little bit. He's, like, he's fucking huge. So, at this point, can we confirm this is the Triple H 2.0 show? Yeah, just without evolution. And just more sexual jokes. So, Eve Torres interviewing him, and uh, he keeps on pointing out, are they real? Which, the crowd don't give a fuck. No. We don't give a fuck, no. but uh, apparently they do. And then he grabs her beads that are around her neck. Yeah, the little the fake pearls. He's like, oh. It wasn't, it wasn't funny. It was never funny. Yeah, we're supposed, we're supposed to laugh. Because three to five minutes. Get it? He's a husband. Husband Triple H. I like the, I like the pearls. It's not fucking funny, man. It's just it. He's he's been doing that shit all year. So that's the thing. The only one laughing is himself. No one else yeah, is yeah, laughing. No, nobody else is laughing. He's literally the only one doing that shit. I'm like, oh well, whatever. But still, Triple H has been. Um, Holding that belt, beating the likes of uh, the great Kali, and uh, when when the draft happens next year, he's going back to Raw. And he's not, he's going to keep this belt. I I honestly believe he's going to keep this belt until he gets put back on Raw next year. I do too. Or or he loses the belt, but some way somehow it gets right back on him. Because I feel like he's going to lose, but he's going to gain it back somehow. Because fuck, he's had it for a long time and. SmackDown has been his show. And here's the difference between this, you know, little, I'd say, Reign of Terror. It's not as bad as, you know, the real, the real, the first Reign of Terror that lasted three goddamn years. And we had to cover that shit for three goddamn years. But it's not as bad because Taker's on SmackDown and Triple H is not beating Taker every goddamn week. And uh, they're trying to push Jeff Hardy and other people on SmackDown. So they're actually trying to push people. Wow, Triple H is still champion. When Triple H was there, nobody was getting pushed besides him and Randy and Batista. Nobody else is really getting pushed. Everybody was just One like, day he's going to be on an episode, right? You're going to turn sci-fi on. 
and he's going to be against Matt Hardy, and he's going to beat him for that ECW title. Oh, he's that is my prediction running, by the end of the year. Running in the next month, he is going to appear on ECW. He's going to be running ECW, not not just appearing, on SmackDown. Like running it. Oh, and SmackDown. Oh, he, he, yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, how far fetched is that? Right? He's going to beat Jeff. But then he, Matt goes at him, he beats him out. Let's just think about this real quick. So, his whole career has basically been, and I would even say his whole career, ever since the Reign of Terror started, it's always been, I'm the champion, it's my show. And then there was this one little part where he was hurt, and it wasn't really his show, and then when he came back, it automatically became his fucking show again. He won, the, he won, he wins the title, or has a few with Randy for a title, and then they find they don't have any spot for him at WrestleMania last year, uh, 24. They had no spot for him. They shoved him in a triple threat match, and then he gets drafted to SmackDown after Backlash. So, well, I don't, I don't get it, but it's it's weird. Triple H just instantly gets fucking the sh- his own show back. Really, he gets his own show, and you know, I don't know. He used to draw ratings, but I don't know how much ratings he's drawing on SmackDown. Miz. Morrison, they need to get off SmackDown or off ECW. I know they appear on SmackDown because they're both shows. Yeah, why the fuck are they on ECW? Yeah, why the fuck are they on ECW? It'd be that. nice to see them on Raw at least. Yeah, they took on Jesse and Fest as a team that has been wasted and are basically the jobbers of the tag division. Let's get to some a point. gravy. Let's get some gravy. Yeah. Tonight we've seen something a bit different in a way. Well, it's not different. We've seen it before, but not in the recent times. So. I mean, they beat down Jesse first, right? Yeah, yeah. Festus gets the hot tag. John against Miz. John rings the bell, which mm-hmm. makes fucking Festus dumb as anything, obviously. Yeah. Miz, hit, Miz hits him with the reality check and gets the win. I really feel bad for Jesse and Festus because they could have had the title run or had something decent, but they have been dead for the past two years, a year and a half of just the tag division's jobbers. Yeah, and... Like, I, I, the only thing I liked about this match was just basically just, I mean, they've been bringing the bell, and that's how he wakes up and gets all angry and shit. I like how, like, they didn't want to lose, so they grabbed the bell and fucking rung it, and then they they beat him. I mean, that was, that was different, but, you know, it's whatever. It's just another job or tag team versus a team that is still on ECW for no really, you know, no real reason, no rhyme or no reason. Like, ECW doesn't have tag team belts, and... I'd say... Oh, so you literally have to diversion to SmackDown or yeah, else you get nothing. Unless you get nothing. And John Morrison has already been ECW champion. So, yeah. I don't I don't know. I think Miz should have got at least once. Yeah, but... It's Matt Hardy's time, baby. <laughs> that's that's all I can say. Yeah, Matt Hardy's it's time. Matt Hardy's time. It's Matt Hardy. They, they basically decided, right? We don't want to give this guy the US belt again, and we don't want to give him the IC belt. What else is like low right there? Oh wait, the ECW title. Yeah, give it to him. Yeah, just another brand's world title is very low. It's lower than any mid card title up here. That should be, yeah, it's basically on the same. I always look at the IC belt as a bit higher than the US. I would say it's on level of the US belt or a bit lower. It's and low. I like ECW, it's, but it's probably low. If you look at the ECW roster, it is a mishmash of people being thrown away and up and coming stars who once they get a bit decent they are ripped away. Shit. Man, that's I mean that's they've been doing that for years in different fucking companies in different states of wrestling, really. So I'm not even surprised about them just snatching people up. That's no surprise to me at all. But yeah. It's it's fucking shit, SmackDown. Well, we already knew SmackDown and ECW were in collusion since, you know, the start of the fucking thing. How the hell are you going to have three different shows of traveling? (laughs) Fuck it, we're just going to put them together with SmackDown and have them do their tape show after SmackDown. So, yeah, there's there's really no point in that. But did we get into the... uh... The actual de- it was it was a really slow match. To me, this say. this was the main event, right? This yeah. was really the main event. It was, but I don't know why. It's one of those yes, weird space paint tonight was <laughs> fucking yeah horrible. I don't know what the fuck it was. I feel like he was busy or not busy. I feel like he was late and he just fucking brushed. He got he got a paintbrush, man, and went yeah. sideways 
on his fucking you know I mean? face. If, on his if, eyes, though. On his eyes. If we had webcam right now, which one day hopefully we get on video, I'd be showing you right now. He literally got it and smeared it across his eyes. Yeah, it just, looked really fucking dumb. It was a fucking shitty paintbrush. Like, I, don't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get that shit at all. It was like, Jeff, what in the fuck are you thinking? Like, he must have been high on something. Like, we, we know you do shit, so, I mean, hey. We can both agree, right? Yeah. Jeff got fucked the whole match. He did not... The this bits was, of offense were nothing. This was the op, This was basically how John Cena is booked in matches, where he gets his ass for a while and then somehow ends up winning. But Cena usually we ends up... with a roll-up. Yeah, I'm going to say, Cena usually ends up winning clean. Jeff did not, really. He won with a roll-up, but it was a distraction type thing. And now there's a fucking triple threat match. So I'd say, uh, thank fucking God, because Triple H versus Kozlov by themselves, uh, be, by themselves I'm, would not I'm still good. the only. I'm still the only one that I think likes Kozlov, but Kozlov right now is filling the uh, the Umaga role that was filled last year, where mm-hmm. he is the monster that will take on Triple H, and Triple H will bury. Yeah, just beat it's him. Yeah, he's the monster that Triple H will beat. Why has he been thrown to this match? Multiple fucking times. <laughs> Add him more diversity, I guess. Why is he in this match? Because they don't want to put the big show in the match. They don't want to put Taker in the match because Taker losing this match would be weird. And uh, Edge is injured. That's why. <laughs> and there's nobody so else. This, so the next match was... Uh, guess what it was, everybody? It was a tag team match. Yes, Teddy Long was on fucking shrimps tonight. And LSD and was just going crack probably, and just going absolutely crazy booking all these tag team matches. So now we got Jackson and Kendrick versus Carlito and Primo. Yeah, it was. Ugh. You know, it was just one of those weird things. This match was it was an, it was a nothing match, and the funniest part of the, about the match is just, you know, Carlito's getting his ass whooped, and uh, you know Primo gets the tag in, and the crowd goes fucking mild. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody fucking cares. Just it was it was a nothing match. Once again, the tag team division on, and it's not even a fucking tag team division. Kendrick and Jackson. Kendrick is fucking. Uh, I mean, Jackson is Kendrick's fucking bodyguard. This I don't. I don't think. Tag division. I don't think uh, Kendrick has a proper gimmick yet because he was backstage and he called someone nerd or illusion. It was just fucking cringe. Well, his it gimmick, really wasn't his funny. Gimmick was he's just cocky. He's just he's just cocky preppy boy, really. And he has a black man as his bodyguard because he can pay for it. Fuck, he a fucking former WWE champion Brian Kendrick, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Former WWE champion. So I mean, that's I, that's all I'm gonna that's all I'm gonna fucking say about that. We cut to Kazarni promo. This dude, <laughs> fucking Kazarni, man. On anywhere but the lower mid car. That's all I can really fucking, say. Fucking Kazarni. I don't I don't even know what to say about these fucking. Really, because it's like, why? why? What? And they're giving him so much time too. So this is not even just hype for like a mid card guy. This is hype for like somebody that they want to showcase. But I don't know. I don't really fuck with it. It's not really my cup of tea. I don't. I don't. I don't fuck with. I don't fuck with Kazarni. And well, also I don't fuck with this Jeff Hardy's stupid ass promo. Jeff Hardy's promo was shit. It was like I don't get it. I, it was like. Jeff Hardy was like he was like saying all this weird shit like he actually was on drugs so thanks Vicky and it was just full of shit and like the, sh- the camera kept on shaking and shit I'm like what the fuck what are you doing Jeff what are you doing all right we can thank we can thank uh Vicky for Jeff being back on drugs and he's you know extreme again and I say that in big ass quotations but I don't know fuck man oh local fucking talent James Mason, you know you know about this man, James Mason? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> it's fucking look. How, he's they 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 weighed him in uh they weighed him in stone. Like how much do you weigh? About fifteen. So, so he's sixteen. So he was sixteen stone, right? Yeah. So he's about your body weight, I would say, or he's a little bit you know a little bit on the chubbier side. Oh, so he's a little he's about. That, stone. Yeah, so he's a stone heavier. So we can say that uh, James Mason was basically my co-host Pac, on SmackDown. So I think say, uh, I think I was trying to ooze more charisma than he did. He was uh, uh, he was born a shit. Plus twenty one. How much? Look what music he got. How much, yeah, SmackDown. They gave him the shitty yeah. SmackDown. 
How much charisma would you been giving him? You know, how much? How much charisma like, would you like been giving him? Cut like a promo. Cut like a Stone Cold Free Sixteen promo. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. That bullshit. Uh, um. The Great Khali's a face, right? Yes. It's so weird. I've he's never been a face. He's always been that weird numbling giant. He will I never go back they, to going after, heel, man. This is it now. <laughs> after he lost to Triple H for the uh, title, in a terrible. Side, he's just been a, terrible, yeah, a terrible, terrible match. match. <laughs> Holy fuck! It was bad. The downfall after that was just straight down. That was another it's monster. Like he had that, to kill, man. Yeah, it was like right after that match, Vince was probably like, "Oh, he is shit." Fuck, man, I've been using this guy for the past two fucking I've been using years. him wrong the whole time. Fuck. Yeah, he should be a comedy fuck. character, man. Look at him. He should be fucking, he should be shucking and jiving like our truth but in a very monotone, slow way. He can't talk, so fuck it. We'll just have him move around and look like he's about to break his legs. Were you excited for the next match? Which was another oh, I didn't... tag match. <laughs> Yo, I, I thought it was we were going to go straight into that Taker promo. No, and no, no. I heard, this match all Bella's shit, is man. technically, you could you could say it's the last match, so it's kind of it the is main the event. It is the last in-ring match, yeah. Do I think it was the main it, event, though? No, because I think this show had a lot of editing, <laughs> so I feel like this wasn't it. No. But then again, why would this no. end the show in a way? So the Bella Twins who ooze just genericness versus yeah, Victoria and Natty. I think the only reason why this match kind of ended it is because they wanted more hype for Taker in the big show, but and they also wanted to mix it up because they already knew this was a generic uh, Manchester SmackDown where they had like all these tag team matches. Like if you would have just gave us like literally four, three straight tag team matches in a row, and then Triple H versus Jeff Hardy, it probably would have been a rough watch. I'm not gonna lie, well, it would probably that's just throw in the ending, right? Victoria's Widow's Peak kills one of the Bellas. I don't know which one. Nobody knows which one. Nobody really gives a fuck. No, I don't really know which the one. The sister drags her out, then rolls up Victoria for another roll-up tonight, and they the Bellas win. Nobody gives a shit, so, uh, and Victoria looks like a clown. Yeah, their gimmick was being under the ring and shit, and uh, oh, oh shit, they're twins. There's two of them, yay. And then now they're basically using their tactic, but now it's actually visual. Now we can see it. So, I mean, I don't know. I th- I think they thought that I was going to get some heat on them, but it didn't because nobody really cares. This is a very important message from all of us at the Mark Report. Fuck that, nigga. Thank you for listening, and back to the show. So, just like this show tonight, on the SmackDown, there'll be a lot of editing. Undertaker promo time. The crowd obviously cares because of Undertaker. <sighs> Yeah, they like the, everybody likes the Undertaker. Comes like out, Undertaker, but hypes the up the show. casket match, which we all know who's winning this. Big Show's losing. Big Show's not winning. It's there's no, no, there's no way in hell he's winning. Nobody cares. No I don't think anyone really does care. Do you? I personally don't give two shits. This is this is filler for both guys. <laughs> this is literally filler for both guys in this match. Like, not necessarily saying that the Big Show is going to be doing big and better things, but Taker. Fucking Christ. Taker could be doing so much more right now. Big Show Maybe comes out in a casket, with Vicky and Chavo. Yeah, yeah. Lights go out. Vic, uh, Victoria, fuck, we already covered her. Vicky, Victoria. imagine appears in the ring in seconds. That was added to anything. That no was, way she's getting well, in that ring fan, in two seconds flat. <laughs> There's no one in the fantastic world. Fantastic editing. No, Miss Piggy was not running to the like. She got all, wait. Was she? She's still in the wheelchair. Right? Yeah, <laughs> she's not getting up from the wheelchair, right? Piggy <laughs> standing is up, running, lifted nice and nice and softly. It wasn't rough. Didn't choke slammer. Just put her in the uh, casket, closed it. Chavo. Oh, it's like me. Big Show throws Chavo yeah. in. Undertaker gets distracted because yeah. he's an idiot and beats down Chavo. Undert- uh, Big Show grabs Vicky, leaves, and Chavo gets fucking Killed tombstoned. Again. Again, he's getting killed again. I mean, Chavo is just that guy that nobody likes. In storyline, right? Will Vic, will yeah. Chavo fuck over Big Show this weekend for what he done there? I doubt it, but it could be. It could be something different. <laughs> like, come on now. Like, let's be real. If this was real, you wouldn't let that slide. Chavo, Chavo, but Chavo in like big man mode here. He's over here attacking. You know, main eventers. <laughs> Maybe Undertaker's about to get, like, uh, knockout punched. So Chavo goes and hits Big Show over the back with a chair, distracts him. 
I don't know. He big boots big and know. rolls him into the casket. I... Chavo is the definition of the guy that gets his ass whooped for me. You know. Don't forget he was ECW uh, champion at the start of the year. <laughs> we we saw how that ended. So basically. Chavo gets fucking killed. I just found it funny. It's like Big Show. I mean, Taker picks up Vicky Guerrero. It's like me taking out like a butterball turkey from my fridge and just, you know, slowly taking it out with the wrapper and shit, you know, holding it nice and neat and then putting it on the counter, getting ready to basically season that motherfucker. He picked that bitch up very, very softly. Should have just killed the bitch. I don't know. Should have just hit it with a fucking tombstone, but, you know, whatever. They, I guess they want to save that for something. Because he's already done it, so I mean... Once again, this is like reworking a storyline, but this time the big show. Because it's like... I mean, no, Edge basically was doing the same thing. Edge was Edge was leaving Chavo high and dry. And the big show was saving Vicky... I mean, Edge was saving Vicky Guerrero. So, I mean, this is the same concept. Same things are happening. So, there's no real change. Well, we're leading in now to Survivor Series. This will be our last show into Survivor Series, and we'll cover it on the night. Yep. Overall, are you excited? I don't really give a fuck, <laughs> no. but I'll be paying for it anyway because it's not that expensive. So, no, I am not excited. Um, That's a real shame, isn't it? I really enjoyed it's last cheap year's for you. Yeah, it's, it's they're cheap always cheap, man. So you you just get raped. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, we get we get raped. So I guess the people that I'm watching it with will all pitch in for that shit. I guess they you know so, they know we do my sh- we they know that we you know I do my show and shit but besides that it's it's a virus series one of the big four pay-per-views and I am not fucking we'll, excited we'll do a quick rundown all. right yeah hbk jbl i'm going to side with hbk even though it is one yeah, of the most HBK. random teams ever crime time and great Kali, <laughs> ray mysterio and Sean, yeah. they're going to probably clean jbl's team who are you going with oh uh, yeah hbk all right they're going to fucking win this. The Raw Women, SmackDown Women's, no one cares. We'll move past that. <laughs> skip. Fucking skip. Big Show. No doubt in my mind, our Tigger wins. You agree? Yeah, no shit. Right then. Batista, Roddy Orton. I'm going to side with Batista's team. I feel like this is going to be, I wouldn't say enjoyable, but I feel like it's going to be lengthy. It should be fine. Uh, I think this might be the better Safari Series match of the two. But, uh, yeah, it should be fine. Uh, I'd say Orton's winning. Orton's team winning. You gotta get a heel in the face. Kozlov, Triple H, and is it Jeff? Yeah, Jeff now. I mean, now it's now it's Jeff. Right then. Jeff probably loses, and Kozlov takes the uh, takes the L. He's going to be getting pinned. <laughs> Triple H wins that oh, one. I thought you... I thought you said Kozlov is taking the belt. No, like, oh. no, no. <laughs> well, who do you think's winning that? Kozlov. I'm signing with Triple H. Oh, man. I feel... I feel like they might give it to Jeff. Oh, you're crazy. Anyway. It's either... Look, it's either they give no, it to man, Jeff come, now... No, still happening. Or they give it to Jeff soon. Because they're not going to push this guy. They're not going to at least give it to him at least once. Triple H ain't losing. They've done... Oh, he doesn't have to take the pin. No, no, he's, he's pinning Kozlov. Triple H is going to win, man. I'm telling you. I don't know about that. I feel like Jeff is going to... I feel like Jeff's beating... He's hitting that swan ton on Kozlov, I guess. Then we get to the champion, Jericho, versus the returning... Cena. Cena wins. So, I'm expecting... Yeah, I'm expecting this to be the main event, right? Like No, the, the, man. The, the I don't take a picture of the, the main event. <laughs> I expect this match to be the one to end the show because we all expect Cena to win. So it's like, all right, feel good moment, get the fuck out. What do you think is going to be the longest match? I'm gonna I honestly, I'm gonna say casket uh, match probably. It's gonna be a, probably a really boring back and forth. No, because it's the Big Show and Taker. T- I mean, I mean, the Big Show can go along with people, but not with. Them. I mean, Taker can go along. Well, with I'm not people, saying. I'd say it's show. gonna be over twenty minutes. I'd say fifteen. Same. <laughs> I'd say I say it's solid fifteen. I think the longest match would probably be Cena versus Jericho. Right then, on that note, I hope everyone enjoyed today. We're back, and uh, we'll catch you guys for the next episode. And from all of us, have a good one. We're staying, nigga. Peace. Mm-hmm.